Peace and prosperity to all that's listening to this podcast. I'm Lachey Miller Wright, and I'm going to talk to you guys today on focus and how important focus is when it requires you focusing on yourself, right? Everybody wants to be great at something. Everybody wants to have more abundance, more prosperity, more financial freedom, but everybody doesn't want to do the work in order to get the things they want, right? So yes, it does require time, effort, work, consistency, massive actions to back all of that. So what you need is greatness cannot be achieved without obsession. You got to be completely and entirely obsessed with whatever it is that you want to do. You have to be laser focused on that specifically. And you got to know what it's going to take in order to do it. So do you know what it's going to take to achieve the things that you're working so hard towards? Like, do you know the process? Do you know, like, all the things that you need to buy, all that you need to invest, all the time that you need to put into it? Are you focused in a sense of knowing and being acknowledgeable of what needs to be done in order to do what it is that you want to be doing? If you want, believe in yourself. It won't happen for you. If you won't believe in yourself, nothing can ever happen because it requires you to believe in order for anything to be possible. It's like this, like wanting something without the belief. Why do you deserve it if you don't believe that you should have it? Like you have to believe first before you can obtain something. So believe first. Then the obtainment of what it was that you believed in. Don't stop. Work your plan. Stay busy. You should always have a plan. You should always, always have a plan. You should have a business plan. You should have a budget plan. You should have um, all kinds of plans that's going to help you succeed in this life, right? Anything that you want, you must write out and make a plan. Otherwise, you're just drifting. Otherwise, you're, you're, it's just not going to work out for you. Because a plan keeps you in alignment with where you're headed and what you need to be doing. When there's no plan, there's no vision. And there's no real um, end destination. It's just you're doing, you're drifting. And you really don't have a process that you're going through in order to get to where you want to be. Be creative when working on your ideas. Be more creative. But creativity requires one to be open-minded. So you have to be an open-minded individual to be able to even think outside a box. Think like there's no box. Think to a point where there is limitless opportunities, limitless ideas, limitless things that you can do in order to make yourself and your ideas much better, right? Right. The secret to real happiness is progress. Now, change is automatic, but progress is not. Progress is the the results of your actions being in a process. Process is the actions that you take every day in order to um, do the things that you want to do. So as an entrepreneur, I make steps every day as a businesswoman to, um, get the things and I want every single day, but I'm consistent with it each day. So that means I'm getting some progress, but I may not see those results right away. But after I've done it for so long and it becomes second nature, then I start to see the results of my progress. You got to have a solid vision. You got to know what it is that you're working on and what you're working for and what you're doing it for, right? You got to have that vision because the vision is what makes it where you don't drift and has you, you know, where you're going to head and it's your vehicle. It's it's the thing that gets you from point A to point B to point C until the very last point, right? Vision is about what you're here to create. A vision that is compelling, strong, with good reason, is like so powerful. 
you want a vision that speaks life into other people that provides some sort of service to other individuals out there you want to be able to give people what they need but also by helping yourself as well so the truth is you can never help yourself until you learn to help others first but first you have to learn to help you it's it's it seems like a complicated thing but it really isn't you can never find anything outside of yourself that you haven't learned to give yourself but when it comes to like physical doings you first must learn to do it for other people as you would do to yourself but sometimes you have to sacrifice your wants to help others in need so it's just really more profound when you get the understanding of it and start doing it yourself you don't let fear take over if you got strong enough reasons and that is so true reasons come first answers come second review it feel it every day you need to analyze and overlook the things that you're working on and make sure that they align authentically with you as an individual as a person because at the end of the day you're the only one who has to live with your decisions and your choices so be mindful when you're you know um choosing things for your life as long as it lines up with who you are and what you really want i'm not talking about something that you decided and you wasn't really sure about i'm talking about something that you're sure about you're 100 percent sure but you do have some doubts in the sense of the process and what it's going to cost and all that good stuff but you know as long as you're sure about doing it it doesn't matter the um the uh doubts and things like that you want to have the um there is no growth without opposition so you want to have some opposition in something that you're really sure about because you won't grow in the process if there is no opposition so the best thing i can say if it's really for you and you really want to do it and it helps you grow as an individual and it has a lot of opposition i say go for it raise your standards um i don't mean raise your standards for people i mean raise your standards for yourself and how you treat yourself how you love yourself how you um go about doing things for yourself and because this ultimately sets the standard of how you are a reflection of how you treat yourself unto others so the reason why i say raise the standard is because a lot of people have expectations in which they don't reflect um you don't want to be that kind of individual you want to be somebody who is a reflection of the very thing that you say so raise your standards meaning it starts all with you and nothing can be obtained until one learns to be what they want right right lasting change is different from your goals lasting change is the change that took time to get it's like that it's the information that you're getting over a time period after you're learning all these skills you're learning all these new things and it's it's it can be overwhelming sometimes but the best thing about it is you get you got these skills and these skills are going to help you help other people and that's so powerful right that's powerful you get to help somebody else everyone gets their must Ev- everyone gets their must not everyone gets their shoulds and that's true you need to have what you need before you can have what you want if you have what you need you can always have what you want and that's my philosophy because if you take care of the need the want will come right after and there's no worry in that right right when things become a must not a should things get done yes when things become a must do urgency a uh, need to um when it becomes that way then it goes from a want and it it is determined with the need and it becomes something that can easily get done because it's urgency behind it is importance and urgency and when there's no urgency is there's no need to rush to do right we only perform when there is a must and a real need for something check the limitations you set in your life and that's not only in your life that's in your mind because everything starts in the mind the 
the things that you struggle with often start within your head. We live who we believe we are, right? We live who we believe we are. Don't get a result with the same actions. You don't get the result with the same actions you've always done. Expand your identity. Expand who you are. Expand in growth. Expand in the way you learn. Expand in the way you communicate. Because ultimately, if you expand and you want to expand, you want to learn, you can benefit in the long term. But it requires a lot of work. Are you willing to put forth the effort in order to get the results you want? Change your life is changing the inside game it's changing the inner you the inner world the world is in you and everything that is a reflection of you is the projection of the world around you and the people that you have in your life and the people that you have in business and all those things like that so your life is a ultimate reflection of what you are on the inside and what your life is like within and if you are not lining up the things within you there is no changing because all the change starts with oneself small failures are things you aren't doing small failures are just things that we are doing in our daily routines that aren't serving us aren't serving us purpose hindering hindering our growth right And some things that we can cut back on. And some things we can stop doing. And some things we can stop saying. And some food we can stop eating. And some drinks we can stop drinking. It's a lot of things that we as a people can learn how to do. But until we're willing to make those um, self-disciplines and read more books and educate ourselves and take constructive criticism. Because it really requires somebody being open-minded to seeing from a different point of view because you can't see all the views even if you can view everything in different perspectives sometimes you got to hear it from a different perspective from another person we don't all have the same perspective even if we can see it on different levels so let me tell you guys focusing on yourself is the most empowered thing to your vision to your life to your dream to your family to your success and if you want to be the ultimate entrepreneur business person you have to have a key focus on you and the biggest thing about focus is you don't want to focus on the ifs and because if can go both ways are you focusing on the doubt of the if if i fail or if i succeed if can go both ways but are you focusing on the fear or the or the faith you need to have faith and belief in yourself when walking in your purpose okay i love you guys i hope you like this audio and make sure that you stay tuned for more to come peace love and happiness